So we all know Uber and Lyft classify us drivers as independent contractors. And that's given us a world of hurt when it comes to getting our unemployment benefits. Approximately two thirds of us have gotten benefits, but there's a big one third that's still struggling to get it. Some drivers have raised the question whether it's ethical for us to accept unemployment benefits. Some drivers say yes, some drivers say no. In this video, I'm going to delve into the topic of is it ethical for drivers to accept unemployment benefits or not? And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you what I think is the number one issue to consider uh, when you're making the decision of whether to drive or to stay home and accept unemployment benefits. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Having my Nespresso. Happy sunny Sunday morning here in Northern California. All right, let's get into some background. Pandemic hit. I was aware of it uh, before most people because I had been in Thailand for the entire month of January. And on my way back, I had a layover at HKG, Hong Kong Airport, and everybody was wearing the mask. And a buddy of mine in Thailand, he said, you're going to have a problem getting back. They're going to like maybe quarantine you for 14 days. I was like, oh my God, what's going to happen? Fortunately, I got back, nothing, right? So number one, what has happened so far? So I stopped driving in February. Then in March, end of March, um, the CARES Act passed. And that opened up a whole lot of different benefits that were available to us as, as citizens and as drivers. As you can see, if you check out this YouTube video I did, uh, it's called Six Ways Lyft and Uber Drivers Can Get Paid Today. Um, and it's got, what, over, over 100,000 views. Wow. Um, you can see that we had uh, quite a bit of options. The main thing, though, that the CARES Act did is it allowed us as independent contractors who do not normally get unemployment uh, benefits to qualify. Now, the reason approximately a third of us have not gotten our benefits uh, is because we are classified as independent contractors, so they've had to re rework the system, reverse engineer the system, uh, and, and that's caused a lot of problems. Um, why are we classified as independent contractors and not employees? Well, uh, this is what Mark Potter says. Now, Mark Potter is my attorney, and he says, um, California law is clear on this issue. Uber and Lyft drivers are employees and are entitled to much more money. We have found that our driver clients are entitled to more than double what Uber and Lyft paid. Uber and Lyft have gotten away with it because drivers have to pursue private arbitration rather than court. Drivers should hire an attorney who will seek all the money they have been underpaid for the past four years. And that's from Mark Potter uh, from the Potter Handy LLP. So if you think you're entitled to some back pay and you're in California and you've driven a lot in the last four years, um, just below there's a link to what's called a damage calculator and you can put in your information and get a rough idea of what you might be entitled to. That's what I did. Check it out. Um, I signed up and we're actually now just uh, starting to select the arbitrator, the person who's actually going to judge um, how much of back pay I am due. Number two, it's tough being a driver. I personally have gone through some incredible challenges in order to get my unemployment benefits. Uh, here's another YouTube video you can check out. It's called Uber and Lyft Drivers. Jay's unemployment benefits have stopped and this is why. And then you can also see uh, this article where it says one third of un unemployment benefits have yet, yet to reach um, Americans. So it's not just drivers, but this whole system because there's so many millions and millions of people um, including independent contractors who are applying for unemployment benefits. Um, and it's just kind of clogged up the system and made it very difficult for us, the drivers. Number three, do we deserve the benefits? So I'm going to share with you a couple of missives we received from the haters. And uh, here's the first one. So what it says here is, uh, this is from Hard Truth Network. You're just showboating. No one wants to see you gleefully prance about all the free money you're getting in the midst of a pandemic. I have driven throughout this entire thing. I didn't get a stimulus check and I was denied for unemployment twice and have been in pending status for the $600 government money. So yeah, I'm sick of everyone sitting on their ass gloating about how much money they have made off the pandemic. 
Amazon and Walmart and a bunch of other places are hiring. A lot of you guys are scamming the system. UI is there for you to have income as you look for work and you're supposed to take the first job offered. Not gleefully make YouTube videos on how uh, to sit at home rolling in the dough. So this is uh, raises the question of, is it ethical for us to receive money when we could be driving, right? There's nothing actually physically stopping us. There's no law stopping us from driving, right? So why are so many of us not driving and instead are collecting money from the government? Money. Now you may say, well, scroll this. You know, I, 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 I got to make money, but I don't want to drive people. Well, then you should really consider um, doing like food delivery um, or, or shopping like with Instacart. Um, DoorDash and Postmates are really good options. And below this video, we've got a link that you can click on and you can uh, go check out uh, what's available for you um, in your specific market. So that link is just below the video for Postmates and DoorDash. Number four, to accept benefits or not. Let's look at another uh, a reader who said the following. You don't look sick. Are you able to work? You look like you're, uh, especially for Uber and Lyft, how are you unemployed unless each state is not letting Uber and Lyft dri drivers drive? Especially when so many people are losing their jobs and can't work and are trying to sign up for Uber and Lyft to drive to make money, but can't. I mean, am I wrong in stating this or not? So here's what it comes down to. To me, there's a couple of issues. One is your health, and I think this is the main issue. This is the main issue to consider um, when you're evaluating what you're going to do, your health. So the idea of me driving around, even with a mask on, and there's somebody else sitting right there, right, is not safe, right? There, this is not, you know... This is not going to stop stuff from getting into me. And if I have somebody in my car and I'm exposed for approximately 15 minutes or more, they say that's really what it takes to get sick, you can get sick, right? And I'm going to have 25 people a day in my car. That's kind of my average for my 10-hour day, approximately three people per hour. There's a good chance I'm going to get sick. And then you got to consider the people who are in your life, right? So you go home. I live with an 81-year-old, my mother, right? I'm helping her out, taking care of her. And what if I get her sick? And then I put my mother out, and I'm responsible. So you got your own health and the health of the people in your life to consider. So I think that's the number one thing. Number five, what does the future hold? So what you're looking at right now is uh, unemployment through May. So May of last year to May of this year. As you can see, it took a big jump, right, in the last couple months, all the way up to almost 15%, and then it recently graduated down a little bit, um, although they say that number is actually a little uh, not, not actually correct, and we're actually at 16% 16, 16% now. But um, that's the situation. So what does that mean for the future? It means there's a lot of people that aren't working. The big government uh, unemployment benefits end at the end of July. Uh, the Democrats um, have passed something called the HEROES Act, which is supposed to extend that benefit into January of next year. The Republicans don't like that, but the Republicans do want to win the election, and they're going to have a hard time winning the election if, if the economy is, is in a recession and there are millions and millions of people who are unemployed and not having any money come in. That's, that's not feeding the economy, and that will not be good. So there's got to be a meeting uh, of the minds. Um, from all the financial experts and the videos I've looked at, nothing's going to happen until the week after the July 4th weekend. They're going to have about three more weeks of data to look at, and that's when the decision's going to be made. So all right, so what are the key takeaways? Stay healthy. Stay alive. You know, if this thing kills you, then your life isn't worth living. <laughs> I came up with that line. I thought it was so good. <laughs> if the virus kills you, then your life isn't worth living. Um, and what's the number one issue? Your health. So take care of yourself and um, take advantage of what you can. The government is here. Um, they're taking care of their citizenry. They're taking care of their, you know, economy. Let's face it, that's the driver. 
Um, they need a strong economy so that they can, you know, keep everything going. And um, if you don't like it, don't don't accept it and go drive. But um, I, I think that if you think logically about what's the best for you and what's the best for you financially, um, stay home, collect your benefits, and work on your plan B. I always say work on your plan B. This has been an excellent opportunity for you to create something new and different so that when things are normal again, you have a choice about whether you want to drive for Uber and Lyft again um, or not. All right, all right. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You just click on that little thumbs up. That would be great. That helps for more people to see it. If you've not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe. And by def definitely set yourself up for notifications so you can know when we do our next YouTube Live. My name is Jay Crater. I want to say thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. You guys are great. I love drivers. We're such strong. We're out there just making things happen and uh, you know, keeping our heads up and keep marching forward. And so many of us have had such a hard time to get these benefits, but we keep on trying. And uh, I applaud you for that. Y'all go out and have a great day and be safe out there.